seems to be moving his feet kind of slow, but uh, let's just go ahead and adjust that right now. So basically, uh, instead of using three, we'll just use one. And then we'll up our frame rate a little bit. Let's go back to our... I should probably set my default frame rate to be 30. Okay, let's uh, test this out. Yeah, that looks pretty reasonable. Looks like he's walking. Okay, so next thing we want to do is we want to actually make him keep moving while he's uh, moving his feet while he's on a diagonal. So let's go back to our action script. Okay, so the reason he's not moving his feet when we're moving on a diagonal is because we've we're executing two go to and stop commands uh, when we're holding, for example, if we're holding up and left, he's going to go to and stop on the up uh, keyframe, which is going to go to the first frame of that walk cycle, but then it's going to go to the first frame of the left walk cycle. So we're basically going back and forth the up keyframe to the left keyframe. So it's always going to be on the first frame of that of each walk cycle. So there's a few different things we can do to fix this. Um, I'm just going to get rid of all of these go to and stop commands and I'm just going to put them into a separate uh, detection. So first let's get rid of all these. Now I'm going to write an if statement that detects the x speed. So if the x speed is greater than zero, so if he's moving uh, to the right, we're going to use, we're going to go to and stop on the right keyframe. Now, if it's uh, if it's less than zero, we're going to go to and stop on the left. So if we test this now, we can see that when we're moving on a diagonal, he's still moving his feet. But if we're going up, straight up or straight down, we haven't set those keyframes yet. So let's go ahead and we'll set those keyframes. Okay, so we're using an else if still. the y speed is greater than zero, we set our keyframe to down, down, and the last else statement here, actually we want to still detect if our, our y speed is less than zero. We set our character's keyframe to face up. And actually got a typo there. Let's see if this works. So diagonal to the just moving his feet. Straight down moving his feet, straight up moving his feet. That's pretty good. So let me just go to a run through of this code one more time. So here we used the command attach movie 
to attach a movie clip to our root, and we use this word character because our, in our linkage here we're using the identifier character. So that's the word we use for that. And then we gave it our instance name of char, and this was our our depth that we used. So we uh, we ask the root for its next highest depth because that's the uh, movie clip we attach this one to. And here we set our movie clip our movie clip's x speed to zero and our y speed to zero. Now every time our movie clip enters the frame, we're gonna detect if the up or the down key is pressed, and we're gonna set our y speed accordingly. And if neither our up or down key is pressed, our y speed is going to equal zero. And same with the left and right keys. So we, if our left key is down, we set our x speed to negative one. And if the right key is down, our x speed is one. And if neither of these keys are pressed, then our x speed is going to be zero. Now, if our x speed and our y speed are both zero, so if the character is not moving, we set our sub movie clips, which we called our walk movie clip. I'll just show you which these are here. That's these these movie clips on each of our so this is our left keyframe here and our sub movie clip is called our walk movie clip and once again our walk movie clips have the stand keyframe where he's just standing there so we call that uh, we call that walk uh, movie clip and we uh, we tell it to go to and stop on the stand keyframe and if our x speed is greater than zero we uh, we go to the right uh, the right movie clip or sorry the right keyframe in our character movie clip and if it's less than zero we he's facing left and if his y speed is greater than zero he's facing down, and if it, the y speed is less than zero, he's facing up. And then here, our movie clip, we're adjusting the x coordinate of our movie clip by whatever our x speed is set to, which is determined by our keyboard buttons here.